President Biden may be getting a warning sign from his home state and crucial battleground state, that's Pennsylvania. As more than 35,000 Democrats, well, they've switched their party affiliation to Republican this year, while less than half of that number on the Republican side have flipped to Democrat. Our next guest, Pennsylvania voter, left the Democratic Party and registered as a Republican just a few months ago. Steve Kochanowski joins us now. Steve, welcome to the show. I don't know if you've made more friends or maybe lost some friends along the way, but you've switched your party affiliation. And unlike some that came in with President Trump, you did this after supporting Biden pretty strongly in 2020. You've done this during the Biden administration. I'd love your thoughts on just why you switched your party affiliation. Well, part of the reason is this, this wasn't the Joe Biden that I voted for in 2020. This Joe Biden is now what Bernie Sanders like. He, he came along and he, he promised to be a unifier. He promised to bring the country together and he's done the exact opposite. And he's let his own party dictate what he wants to do when he should be dictating what he wants to do. You know, we, we, for me personally, I look at the economy, I look at our region here in Pittsburgh, and I see alone in the last two years, we lost the green, green uh, steel plant and Edgar Thompson's for a billion dollar deal. Just a month ago, we lost a natural gas plant that was a billion dollar deal in the Mon Valley. And, and you know, I look at the criticism of my home county where I grew up in Beaver County of the cracker plant that Chelp put in over the past 10 years or so. Yeah. You know, I look at some of the things that you said you took issue with, the Fell Green New Deal, rising crime rates, uh, and, and then really identity politics is also something that you've taken issue with. Looking at these 35,000 Democrats, what was the common thread? What made, what were they passionate about that they may find in a Republican candidate? Well, I think the biggest thing they're passionate about right now is inflation in the economy. Everybody's hurting. You know, a couple of years ago, you could go to the grocery store, you spend a hundred bucks, you get a couple, you get a couple bags of groceries. Now, you know, you're going into the grocery store and one bag of groceries, and maybe you have not even a week's worth of food there uh, to feed your, you know, and that's for a person, one person. I'm not talking a family. When you're talking a family, you may have a couple days on that now. And, and I think the jobs here, you know, we, we, we obviously have suffered some job loss here. You know, our, 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 we've actually lost jobs in Pittsburgh uh, since 2020. So, yeah. you know, as strong as they say the economy is, it isn't working. Steve, real quickly, kind of a one word answer here. I'd hate to ask you to answer for a whole state, but do you think the Republican nominee, no matter who it is, wins the state of Pennsylvania? I do believe so, yes. Well, we'll find out. We just have to wait and see, I guess, depending on who that nominee is and if we can get these ballots straight. Steve, thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.